Hello and welcome to another Barvember challenge question. Mrs Smith has some glue sticks. In week one, she gives out 30% of her glue sticks. In week two, she gives out 50% of her, this is important, remaining glue sticks. In week three, she gives out two-sevenths of her remaining glue sticks. At the end of week one, she had 171 more glue sticks than she did at the end of week three. And we're asked, how many glue sticks did Mrs. Smith have at the start of week one? OK, so looking at this, I note in week one, she gives out 30 percent of her glue sticks. So what I'm going to do is draw a bar. And let's. Right, we're going to draw a bar. To represent the total number of glue sticks, and I'm going to give it 10 parts. OK, so two, four, six, eight, ten. All right, because that first bit says 30 percent. So I'm going to split it into ten parts. And in week one, she gives out 30 percent of her glue sticks. So that's three of these parts. OK, so this is right from here. To here, we've got week one. All right, that's the 30%. Then what? We've got that bit of information. In week two, she gives out 50% of her remaining glue sticks. So, well, what do we have left? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven parts left. And she gives out 50%. So half of seven is three and a half. So I see that I am going to be splitting these parts. So at the moment, each of these squares is one equal part. So there's 10 equal parts. But I now have to split them in half. And what I'm going to do is split all of them. I'm going to split everything so that we have, we keep equal parts, no matter how badly I draw them. OK. And I don't think, and this is actually why I use um, a graphics tablet. Like, you know, I want it to be like using pen and paper. It's why I don't use any of the really neat um, computer models out there. You can, there's lots of things where you can, um, th there's lots of examples of them online, free to use, but they are not like using pen and paper. And and that's why I do it this way. So you have to put up with my terrible drawing um, because that's what it's like in real life when you're drawing them. You have to remember what you what you have drawn, what it represents. OK, so back to this. So this was week one. 50 percent of her remaining glue sticks in week two. Um, and I've split them in half because that was going to be three and a half of of the original ones. OK. So there we go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these new parts. That is what she gave out in week two. And then in week three, she gives out two sevenths of her remaining glue sticks. OK, so week three, we've got two sevenths now, hopefully. Um, they've designed this nicely so that we've got seven parts left. Let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Indeed. OK, and two sevenths is what she gives away in week three. OK, and this is what's remaining. OK, so we've included all of this information. Now, at the end of week one, we're told she had 171 more glue sticks than she did at the end of week three. Now, we haven't looked at it that way yet. Let's have a look at this. So what do we have? What's at the end of week one? This is what she gave out at week one. This is what she had. This is the end of week one. OK, and what did she have at the end of week three? Well, that's this here. This is the the end, terribly written, of week 
three. Okay. Now we can draw it on here or we could redraw it. Let's um let's just draw it on here. What do, what are we told? We are told that at the end of week one, she had 171 more glue sticks than the end of week three. That means that the difference between these two, okay, these two lengths is equivalent to 171. Let's pick another color here. So the difference here is 171. And how many parts does that represent? Well, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so we now know that nine parts equals 171. So if we divide 171, divide that by nine, okay, we get 19. So each of these parts, each of them has a value of 19. And what are we asked? We're asked how many glue sticks did Mrs. Smith have at the start of week one? Well, okay, so in week one, that's all of this. This is the total, which I should have drawn in, should have written that in right at the beginning. So that's the total. Now, if you remember, I started off, I said that was 10 parts. Um, I now have 20 parts here. I think the easiest way to do this is um, 19 times 2, and that gives me 38. All right, so this is 38. I know I have 10 of those. So 38 times 10 gives me 380. So that's my answer. Okay. Now, um, another way that I could have done it just at the end here, just to show you, I mean, I could see here that I had drawn these in and, and this then was the difference between 171. You could also, if you were um, not confident about this, you could have redrawn this part and you could have said, okay, the end of week three is one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So this is the end of week three. And we have the five parts, okay, right, that's the end of week three, the end of week one, what have we got? We've got um, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, okay. Okay, so I could just redraw it like this. Okay, it's it's the same thing. Um, and then I know that the difference, as I noted here, is 171. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and so on, 171 divided by nine. It's exactly the same thing. It's just that you, you could have redrawn it if you wanted to, if you were not sure, because um, some people don't like to work the other way around. Um, anyway, I hope that helps. You can look at the solution provided by White Rose Maths. It might look slightly different, but I think they've done exactly the same thing. Um, see you next time.